calculate for its class boundaries. Okay, so so that means the lower class boundaries. We simply subtract the lower limits with 0.5. Okay, for the first lower limit we have 0, we subtract it with 0.5, so you will have negative 0.5. Then 10 minus 0.5, we have 9.5, 19.5, and 9.5, 39.5, 59.5, 59.5, and this is 9.5. Now we go to the upper limits. And to determine the upper class boundary, you simply add point 0.5. Okay, for the first upper limit, this is 9 plus point 0.5, so we have 9.5. If you notice, the upper limit of the first class interval is also the lower limit of the second class interval. So there is no numbers in between your um, upper limit and the next lower limit. So this is 19 .5, 19 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5, 39 .5